All right, hey guys, we're back. We are going to set up here for a hole two tutorial shot here. Now notice I have a rocket eight. It is max distance somewhere around 1.3, 1.4. We're gonna play it very close to max, even though we're gonna be at min distance. The fact that this plays so downhill basically puts it almost spot on a max ring adjustment. So the one thing that uh, you guys are going to want to concentrate on if you go for this shot, um, perfect ball is going to be highly useful. So you do want to have that uh, high level focus to get that perfect ball when going for this shot and also a very precision like adjustment. So, um, you know, the, the pull angle that you pull at is going to be very critical and also that you're being very methodical with your ring play because it is kind of a limited target one of the good things with the angle of the wind though you are going to be for the most part going over a lot of rough now you can see one of the reasons that we have to use you can see we're very much at min club so you really don't have a lot of leeway to switch options here and you might need um, a rocket nine to really successfully do this but at the very least it's something that we can at least try and see what it looks like so as I mentioned you know we will try to do um, very similar uh, I'm gonna play a little bit out to the left and maybe just a little bit on the shorter side but uh, you know very much towards max like I mentioned for our adjustment maybe just a tiny bit of curl and uh, oh, oh, oh. great shot Hopefully that uh, great ball doesn't hurt us too much. Uh, just make sure that you're hitting the rough and sending it down by the hole. And you can see that it gives you a nice holdout opportunity. Now, hopefully you guys have a rocket nine and you're going to be able to jack that backspin up just a little bit more than me. That's going to be ideal. And you can try to focus on landing it maybe a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more safely. You can see I have to... I have to get a little bit more on the south end, if you're looking at the tee box here, of that rough patch. Because if I hit it too much on the down slope, uh, then it is going to, um, you know, really take off. I might roll through the green into the rough. So you do need to be a little bit careful with your pull angle here. And as I mentioned, hopefully you guys have a rocket nine or higher for you to be able to get a little bit more backspin because you can see what I can do is very Perfect minimal. Shot. But at the very least, you know, I want to give it a shot to go by the hole very easily uh, to avoid the rough, kind of how you see my opponent doing here. And with the way that the wind angle is, it's a little bit easier. If you guys saw my expert shot, um, I might try a revision for you guys to do a little bit something like that, but it's going to be a little bit harder in this division to pull off just because of... Uh, you know, maybe not having quite as experienced snipers, for example, would be a reason that, uh, you know, you might have a bit more, uh, difficulty. But you can see here with a dunk, all I have to do is basically put the ball into the center of the cup and just kind of focus on not short hitting, not long hitting, and just being very centered. Even if I was the great ball to the right or the left, that would have still gone in. So it's just kind of a safety measure that I use. But, uh, you know, the reason that we're doing what we're doing is to kind of avoid this type of long iron to where it might roll out into the rough. I might try to do the rough bump that you saw in my expert nice division, but the way that you go about setting up the shot is going to be different because the wind angle is completely different. So, um, in terms of safety precautionary methods, you can see that uh, landing it on that rough is going to be relatively safe. Um, you're just going to have to focus on precision, and I'll do um, best to get you guys another revision, hopefully with a perfect ball on that one. So good luck with that one, guys, and catch you guys for hole three coming up.